So I couldn't pass up this opportunity to show what is essentially a really good before and after picture of what happens when you take out invasive species. This is essentially the before picture. A multiflora rose thicket, and as bad as one gets. Now, this isn't entirely accurate as a before picture, specifically because, at least for me, I have barely scratched the surface of dealing with an invasive species takeover when it gets this bad. But I do plan to try to get rid of this in the future, but I've dealt with stuff a little below this, and I've chipped away at this specific thicket before, just haven't gotten around to taking out the whole thing. Quite time consuming, and I mean, if you look at it, you can see why it's such a pain. Literally, all those thorns, and even when you get down below, that's all dead multiflora rose branches, and those thorns are still as sharp as ever. When it comes to thickets that are this bad, they are completely impassable to large animals like humans or deer. And even, I mean, when they get this bad, even smaller animals have trouble moving through this stuff. And I don't think I've ever seen a better example of how many offspring one of these thickets can produce. I mean, look at all those berries, all those rose hips. There's almost too many to count. And keep in mind, each rose hip contains more than one seed. Luckily, a lot of times it's not this bad. And even when it is, you can take care of it if you know what you're doing and you have the time. And given all that hard work, you may be thinking throughout it, you know, what if this isn't worth it? What if they just come back? And for that, I'm now going to show you the after picture of what happens when you do put in the work. This is a field of native asters. I haven't been able to figure out quite what species it is, but based on what I was able to narrow it down to, all the species that I found were native to North America. Here's a closer look at the plant, and I don't know why, but it just reminds me of Christmas for some reason. Honestly, I'm completely astounded at how quickly these got established. Now, granted, this wasn't as bad of a thicket as before, the one I've shown you, but there was still quite a lot of multiflora roses that I had to deal with to get this area to the point where these species could thrive. The results are honestly just incredible, and not just visually for humans, but you'll notice the bees are having a field day right now. Considering the dire straits that bees are in nowadays, a wildflower field like this is very beneficial, especially this late in the season, where it's not really competing with anything else. Maybe goldenrod, but that's about it. And it gives them a lot of extra food for the winter so that they're guaranteed a better chance of survival. But I'm droning on a bit now. I could keep going about how beneficial this is, but the bees buzzing around and the awe-inspiring expanse of flowers really speaks for itself, I feel. But it does serve as a reminder that the next time you're on your hands and knees, cursing because you keep getting stabbed by rose thorns trying to get rid of these invasive species, there is a reason for your work and you might be rewarded sooner than you expect. Anyway, I hope you all learned something and enjoyed. See ya.